folks, there's trouble brewing, big trouble. Now, many of you will be aware that the High Court uh, made a recent historic uh, unprecedented uh, ruling that uh, presidential election results which are announced at the constituency level by the returning officers should be considered final. Okay? What that means is that uh, those results once sent to the tallying center at Bomas of Kenya or wherever the IEBC will be tallying uh, cannot be altered or changed. Yeah? Which means that uh, actually even people do not even need to wait for uh, the final uh, results to be announced officially. All they can do is take in the results from each of the polling stations, or rather each of the uh, polling stations around the country, and they'll already know who the winner is, and they'll just wait for it to be made official. Otherwise, they'll already know the results. Yeah? What the case has been thus far is that uh, even if you do your own math mathematics, arithmetic, you still have to wait for the IBC, and everybody waits, not knowing which side the vote is going to go. Yeah? Yeah, so that ruling was made. Um, actually, the case was filed. Well-known uh, uh, human rights activist Maina Kiai, amongst others, yeah? Uh, actually, they were seeking a clarification of the Constitution, and this was the interpretation of the High Court. Now, what has happened is that that judgment, which was uh, very significant, actually, in the forthcoming elections, and we'll discuss in a minute why, uh, what has happened is that now the IABC has gone to the Court of Appeal and they have appealed that decision, or rather they have appealed that uh, ruling of the interpretation of the Constitution. What this means is that uh, that could be overturned so that we go back to normal, uh, to, to business as usual, or they could, uh, the, high, the Court of Appeal could agree with the lower court. Now where the storm is brewing is over the fact that uh, the opposition, NASA, has threatened that they will boycott the elections unless the IBC withdraws their case. Okay? They have said if you do not withdraw the case, we shall boycott the election. Of course, I don't need to spell out to you what that could mean. You know, NASA saying we are not taking part in the election. Yeah? Going by the results from the last uh, general election, it would mean that half the country would not be going to the polls. In fact, it's possible that more than half the country could not be going for elections because uh, we know of recent political developments on the ground and we also know that other parties may also side with NASA. Okay? The big danger I see here, and that's why I'm saying there's trouble ahead, is that let us assume that uh, the case goes ahead and... Uh, the Court of Appeal decides that no, we should go back to the status quo. That is uh, the final uh, declaration of re every, uh, the presidential results will lie with the IBC chairman. Okay? That also means, as far as NASA are concerned, no election. Now, this is a very tricky situation, and I just want us to examine it from both sides uh, without fear or favor and to see really what is here. Okay. The Jubilee side are livid. They are very angry at uh, NASA because what actually NASA are doing is that they are uh, blocking an institution from its constitutional right of seeking legal clarification, legal redress, whatever it is. Okay. Because in the IBC, IEBC's argument, they have a job to do and they don't want their hands tied while they do that job. Yeah? They have their own, uh, they have the way they have organized themselves according to the way they have interpreted the constitution. So by somebody coming uh, in between them or somebody coming between them and the constitution to start uh, you know, saying that uh, no, this should be done like this, like that, that would be tying their hands. That is ABC's uh, view on this. Okay? Interestingly, it's also the same view that Jubilee hold. Jubilee asking, how dare you uh, threaten, try to hold the country at ransom? That is one side of the political divide. Let us also look at the other side. There's no denying that where NASA are coming from is very clear for anybody to see. Yeah, Even a Jubilee supporter who puts the emotions aside, puts uh, the candidate they are supporting aside, and uh, just becomes a Kenyan, 
or becomes a neutral person and examines NASA's argument, it is very clear where NASA are coming from. What am I saying? Let us go back to 2007. In 2007, results were declared at polling stations, results were declared at uh, constituency level, but when those results reached the telling center, they changed dramatically. Okay? 2013, same case. Now, even if it is you, definitely you're going to be very wary about this particular part of the election. Now, I'm not a legal expert, because only a legal expert can uh, bring forward the arguments and tell us very clearly what the Constitution meant, or even try to interpret the Constitution, okay? So I'll leave that to the legal experts. I'll leave that to those who, whose line is legal, okay? And I'll take this from another side. And I'll take it in the form of a question. What is so difficult with both major parties going for the elections, sitting down and agreeing on the way forward? What is so difficult about that? Because we have a potentially explosive situation here. Because all, all Jubilee need to do is to sit down and understand NASA as their brothers, as their sisters. We're in the same country, guys. And what NASA needs to do, they're supposed to show leadership. Yeah, they're fighting to take over the country's leadership. They need to show maturity and leadership. And the way to do this is to use the negotiation skills and approach those in uh, Jubilee side and tell them that uh, we cannot accept this. And uh, if it is you as a liaised with IEBC to contest this particular decision, if the country's intelligence service is involved in this particular matter, as they usually are when elections are around the corner, we all know that, it's no secret, uh, then we do not want this. This will be unfair to us and we want a free and fair election. They should just tell Jubilee, if you want to win an election, why don't you win it in a free and fair manner where there will be no contest, where nobody will doubt the results of the elections. But of course talking like that I'd be talking like a visitor to Kenya, somebody who does not understand how Kenya operates, somebody who does not understand how Jubilee and the government operates and how NASA operates. But since I'm in Kenya and I'm a Kenyan and I understand those sides only too well, I know that what is going to happen, this is going to just be grandstanding. No side is going to bat an eyelid, no side is going to give an inch, and we're just headed for total disaster. I know my voice is sounding emotional, and actually I am emotional, because you see in all this uh, mess, in all these uh, problems being created, those who are at the forefront, both in NASA and Jubilee, are not going to suffer. The people are, going to, the people are really going to take the brunt of any problem, any standoff, are going to be the ordinary folk. Yeah? When things are so tense in the country that people cannot go to work, the rich man is going to have his usual meat and uh, chicken and whatever on his uh, meal table. The poor man, or the ordinary Kenyan, who has to hustle to get his meal every day, is not. How fair is this? Anyway, let me not just get out of hand here. Uh, that is the situation currently. And uh, the case actually was being heard uh, today, the day I'm doing this recording on Wednesday. So we wait to hear the verdict. We, we wait to see how this particular story will develop. Of course, I'll keep you posted. Uh, it is very interesting that uh, all this that is unfolding was predicted in a new book I wrote in January this year called 2017 Elections. This is what is said to happen. Yeah. Actually, it's very interesting. A reader asked me a few questions last night and uh, he forced me rather... As a result of those questions, I had to go back to that ebook I wrote in January, and I was just totally amazed at how many things have come to pass, how many things have panned out in that book. I mean, it was just, I was just amazed, okay? Now, there are a few more crazy predictions in that book uh, which are yet to pass, which are set, uh, which are supposed to happen later as we come even nearer to the elections and even during the elections and after, yeah? Uh, so I decided that this would be an interesting book for anybody to have, so it is now available. It's only I'm offering it to you, anybody. You don't have to be a member of Club 1999. And anyway, club members have already gotten a free copy of the book. It is only 399 shillings. 
uh, you can be able to get it by calling that number you see on the screen or rather SMS is even better because calling might be tricky so many calls coming in and so on um, SMS might be better you SMS that number say that you're interested in the book and then we'll send you back instructions giving you the, the go ahead or if you're confident enough because Kumekuche is a brand that has been around for over 12 years over a decade decade plus you can send the 399 via M-Pesa to that number and then make sure immediately after you do that you, you text your email address so that we can send you the book now the magic or rather the beauty or, or rather what you're going to enjoy from this is that anybody who purchases the book for only 399 I will make automatically a member of club 1999 for one month and I'm not talking about the platinum you know what we call the membership we've been offering here you know that's a membership which is very limited the limited in information limited in the there are no ebooks and so on there's so many limitations i'm talking about the premium club 1999 golden yeah where there's access to everything without limit that's the club i'm talking about it normally costs 1999 but by purchasing this book for only 399 you'll be able to get free membership to that club for one month do take advantage of this i think it's a beautiful offer thank you very much for your time and those who pray Please remember to keep praying for our nation. Thank you. This is Chris Komakucha.